Greetings, Fast Term students. Uh, this is an overview video to orient you to the online class for class five. Um, as you recall, we are not meeting for class five so that you can experience an online class uh, environment and uh, be able to uh, relate to some of the students' struggles, perhaps, as dealing with some of that. And we can even talk about strengths and weaknesses of these different models and things that you've experienced. For our class five, you would go first to our course website, which is on the Weebly uh, site that we've been using. And if you go down to class five, you will see, again, I'm reminding you, we're not meeting face to face. Instead, you're going to explore the issues of copyright laws and rules. You're going to explore assistive technology and how that affects a classroom teacher. And I also have a couple of things I want you to explore based on your chapter six reading and you will actually blog about it on the attached blog to this website. So let me overview these three areas and these three tasks that I want you to do. First let me remind you this may take minimally four hours and in fact probably more like four to six, seven because this is instead of your four hour class meeting um, and then there's also homework uh, time that might be associated with this. All of the assignments from this class five are due Monday morning by 9 a.m. through Blackboard, except on your blog questions and you'll just respond on this class blog. So let's get started looking at the different experiences I want you to have. Uh, I know we've looked at and studied uh, treasure hunts and uh, you are in fact have created maybe one for yourself or for your students. Uh, I created one for you. How about that? This one's on copyright rules and regulations. Here it is. What every educator should know. It includes of course the um, introduction and also questions that you should be able to answer at the end of this particular treasure hunt. And in fact what I want for you to do is make notes of the answers to these questions, but not give me a sheet that says, here's the answer to question one, question two, question three, question four. Instead, what you're going to do is create, down here in the big question, a PowerPoint presentation that convinces teachers to be more careful about copyright and teaches them rules and regulations. And to be honest, I think it might even be something that you might use for your students to teach them some of the rules and regulations if in fact they're going to venture onto the internet to do some various uh, uh, multimedia kinds of things with using other people's images and other people's words, et cetera. So how to decide and what you should do. So what you do is you answer these questions and then you create this PowerPoint that's not slide one, here's the answer to question one, but instead it's a nice way to kind of frame the idea of copyright, includes all the content from the questions, these 10 questions, but in kind of a creative way with some visuals, et cetera. There are websites here that can help you gain uh, answers to some of these questions, but feel free to not limit yourself to these websites. You can, of course, go find um, other websites that uh, may help you as well. This PowerPoint is the final product of this, and it will be uploaded into Blackboard and submitted to me electronically. Okay, so that is your first activity. Of course, you don't have to do it first, but that is your first activity. Then, if we go back to our site uh, website, the second activity involves an IRIS module. These IRIS modules were actually put together um, with the use of uh, help from the Department of Ed and Vanderbilt University um, in a grant kind of situation. So this is a module on assistive technology. And while it may be true that you're in a private school and you don't have to accept students with special needs. It might be that some of this assistive technology is just the thing that helps you all accommodate a student that maybe you wouldn't otherwise have thought you could accommodate. So irrespective of that, I want you to know a little bit about assistive technology and this module does a good job overviewing it. The way you do this module is you start off with the challenge and so here I am at the challenge page right up here is the challenge and you'll see there's a video attached 
this particular video does require um, QuickTime plugin. It will give you what you need to do that. But you can see they will walk you through this little video. There's a transcript here. If you have uh, audio issues or video issues, you can always view the transcript. And so at the very end of the video, they do present you with some thought questions. They're kind of an anticipatory set. So these are things we hope that you will pay attention to and look for. What does she know about assistive technology and how is it used? What's the school's responsibilities related to assistive technology? And even what do classroom teachers do to help students um, succeed with assistive technology. So these are just kind of things to be thinking about as you are exploring. Then of course there are all of these different resources, objectives and resource pages. So there are nine different pages, eight for sure that you need to go through and as you go through the pages there's some reading, there may be another occasional video. This one I need to click my runtime to get that to go on and run. So if you see that, notice it very quickly will just run and then you can start that video. I'm not gonna play it. But you'll go through all of these different pages, of which there are nine, I said, and uh, kind of make notes as you need to, to go. Lots of good resources and things to think about. At the very end of this, so I'm working my way around the module pieces, there is an assessment. These are seven questions. If I were you, I would just copy these questions, paste them in Word, and then uh, answer them the best that you can. These questions, as you answer them, you don't really have to cite where you got the information because I'll know it's come from this particular piece, but I do want for you to have good answers to these questions. This document will be uploaded into Blackboard as a, the, your assistive technology grade, okay? So that is what you will do on this assistive technology piece. Then the other thing I want us to do is come to the class blog and let me show you again. Let's see. I'm going to go back over here. Here's our class. Here's the blog page right here. You need to probably read chapter six before you uh, jump on board with the blog because it gives you some good background information. You can see there are three different topics and there's some links I want you to investigate before you start adding comments. Um, I want you to look at some of these online schools uh, that Texas actually supports and different options there for students. There's some web quests I'd love for you to explore. You know, these web quests are a difficult thing to create, but they're fabulous learning tools. And so if you can find some things that you won't have to create yourself and use, that would be great. I've linked the web quest matrix. You can, if you click on it, you'll see you can kind of look for, let's say I'm looking for something in math for middle grades. I can search and then they will show me web quests that match that criteria that would help with that. Look at how many there are. Then you can spend some time reading some of the descriptions and seeing if there's anything there that might be of benefit to you. They are um, given a reading grade level. That may be something that's important to look at. But anyway, you can uh, choose a few, explore a few, see how they're created. They're really great uh, group of four kinds of activities that you ask students to do. And so they all have this general format of a task and a process. And in the process, there's different things that everyone does. And then there's a way that you would evaluate. So there's lots of great resources here that I think would be very beneficial to you as a teacher. So I want you to explore some of that and write about what you find to be helpful. The last one is an iTunes U experience that I want for you to have. You'll be blown away by what all is already there, uh, things that you may want to use. Uh, watch a podcast, look at some of the video pieces there, um, some good quality teaching and learning pieces are being added all the time. There's a Texas section that um, has been endorsed by Governor Rick Perry and he wants people to be adding resources to it all the time. So I just want you to have that experience. 
So there are the three things. You'll do the treasure hunt, you'll do the um, iris module, and you will finally come and respond to these three blog posts. Feel free to also post on your classmates' blog posts and give them comments and feedback and add resources if you come across things for them as well. Uh, I hope that you find this uh, an engaging way to learn. I do think all of this material can just as easily be learned in the classroom with me or not. And so that's why it was put in together in an online class experience for you. So I hope that you find it beneficial. I will, of course, see you Monday morning, bright and early. We'll be talking about video editing, so get ready. Um, and uh, be sure you've submitted all of your assignments by Monday at 8. Have a great weekend.